हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ आकाश पटेल एंड वेलकम टू द एक्सको टूटोरियल सो बेसिकली एवरी वन नोज द टोस्ट मैसेज इन द एंड्रॉयड बट आई ओ एस एप्पल डजेंट प्रोवाइड सच फीचर्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू कस्टमाइज दिस इन द आई ओ एस सो लेट स्टार्ट हियर इज़ द डेमो लाइक आई हैव अ सिंपल टेबल व्यू एंड ऑन द टच ऑफ सिंगल टेबल इट इज सिंगल रो यू कैन सी द टोस्ट मैसेज येस सो वी आर गोइंग टू कस्टमाइज दिस सो जस्ट स्टार्ट इट सो आई विल शो माई कोड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट आई हैव जस्ट टेकन वन एरे विच कंटेंट्स ऑल दस कंट्री एंड हियर इज द इम्प्लीमेंटेड टेबल वी मैथड दैट number of rows and cell for row index path and here is one delegate method that select row index path so first of all we will make an object of app delegate uh, i will show my app delegate file that you can see that there is one method named show toast message so this method will be fire on the touch of a table row and you can see that here are two methods which are remaining for the definition part so now back to the view controller and in the did select before going further i would like to import the app delegate dot h file now make an delegate object just name it app del Okay, so app delegate object is ready now. So you can see that, and just uh, call the method. Uh, first of all, okay. While with the use of that object, we have just created app delegate and call the method show toast message here, and here. the parameter required is a n string so just make one string or uh, you can take your message whatever you want to show in a toast message so i'm taking this to and here i am going to refer one array object that uh, index part dot row which will show the selected index message and here i am just simply going to provide this string in the parameter of that message so here we ready with the view controller coding now coming to the app delegate file here we are showing the message which is the basically a label so let's get started with that make a ui label i'm just going to set the text alignment as a center and also setting going to set the font first of all before setting the font i would like to set the text so it is the message which we are passing in the parameter and now defining the font we are using the system font here so and just pass the size of the font 
now to give it effect like a toast message set the background color as a black with the alpha so go for it for the black color it is a zero value for rgb and here okay i am setting the alpha as a 0.5 now Uh, what would be the size means uh, if your label is selecting UK means it is only a two words then it will be a small label and if the message is very long then it should show a long message so I'm just going to uh, put one line to get the exit size here is that line uh, you can get this line now let me put it in center okay so this is basically a text size which will be uh, which will be a dynamic uh, text size based on this particular message so if the message is too long then size will be automatically a big and if the message is small then it will be a small size so let's get start with that and yes uh, there are two parameters are defined here means uh, two macros are defined here screen height and screen width to gather the screen height and width okay so I'm not taking so much time so I'm just uh, pasting this particular code and will make you understand with that okay so here is basically what I'm taking a X value as a float and it is the root view controller it is the basically a center point of the view controller and subtracting a text subtract, uh, subtracting a width so it will uh, basically this line will uh, put the your toast message in the center of a view controller so this line basically what it does what it does so now uh, another uh, float val variable is label width means the width basing based on the uh, size of the message we are getting but uh, to apply some padding now uh, you can see that I am just uh, making a frame with the CG rack to make the X variable is a X uh, float value here is a screen height and minus uh, 90 pixel means from the bottom of the screen I am just uh, taking a 90 pixel up this particular toast message and the label width plus 50 to apply the pad padding and the text size dot height plus 20 means uh, the particular height we are getting from this line of that message we are just adding some padding and here is a code this particular code will uh, make the rounded corner same like a uh, android toast message so it will give the user effect as a toast message is coming on the android device it will same uh, it will give the same effect to iOS user and uh, finally after this all the coding your label is ready to add in the sub view so take one root view controller of your window and add that sub view here is uh, we are adding a sub view as a label now uh, this code is uh, for remove a toast message means if you are uh, let me run the program first okay okay you can see that okay the one line is missing I'm just uh, setting the text color as a white
so it will give the same effect as a toast message you can see that but the problem is here that the toast message will not go automatically uh, in android it will go after some time but here it is coming over it is overlapping the old message so to remove that toast message with some customized uh, seconds here so here is a two second and after two second it will automatically call this particular method here which is defined here and we are going to remove that particular label from the super super view so let's go for the code to give it a effect like android we are using the animate with duration and let's take a duration of one second and the animation code is here that we are just simply setting the alpha of that particular label here and it's it will be gone but uh, yes you are not uh, make sure that you are uh, not removing that particular label from the super view means it will be there only but just alpha of that particular label is uh, set to the zero so we also go for the removing of the code so we are using after dispatch and here we are taking one delay of 1.0 one second and we are removing that particular label from the super view so that cable label and remove from super view okay so this particular code will remove the label from its super view so now let's run the program here you can see that the toast message is coming and after two seconds it will go with the animation of one second we have applied yeah but uh, let me tell you one thing that if you are selecting multiple rows here it will give an effect so let's code for that that only one toast message will be uh, visible to the user not the multiple toast message so we are what we are going to do is we are first of all we are going to tag apply a tag on that particular uh, label we are showing as a toast message so we have applied 100 number you can apply your whatever you you like now we will check before making a label that if window dot root view controller means which is our view controller dot view has the sub view with tag here is a with tag 100 uh, means uh, we are checking that if that particular view controller has already a sub view which is having a tag number 100 so if it is having a tag number 100 then we are simply returning the code from here means uh, compiler will not go further it will simply return from the at this particular line so now let's run the project now you can see that selected India you can see that UK but when I'm selecting another row it will not overlap to the older uh, toast message it will only appear after a first toast message will be disabled and uh, you can also customize your location means if you don't want to put that particular toast message from the bottom and you want to put that toast message in the center then also you can do that okay simply the line we have to okay let's comment this all the code and just simply write one single line that okay i'm 
keeping this line uncommented. What we are doing is uh, we are assigning a center point of a label as the center point of a root view controller of a window means the particular views uh, center point will be the center point of that particular toast message okay so it's done now and we are running the project you can see that the toast message is coming on the center of the view controller you can also customize your font from here that we have used the system font but you can also customize uh, with the font uh, with the size of font and the color also so that's all from my side if you have any queries and any doubt then feel free to comment i will definitely uh, guide you to the right way thank you so much for watching please uh, subscribe and if you like the video please hit the like button thank you so much have a good day